Hey, Melanie Beckler here, and in this video I'm going to share with you three things that you need to know about the energy on and around the powerful full moon lunar eclipse. It's happening in the astrological sign of Scorpio, which is a sign, the sign most associated with transformation. And so this full moon eclipse is really, really powerful time for transforming into greater authenticity and alignment with your soul mission and truth, allowing that to be reborn through you. So diving right in with number one, this is a key point of death and rebirth on the soul journey. So it's very much a time of releasing the old and outdated old programs, old paradigms, in order to make way for the new you, for you to live and express and thrive in greater alignment and authenticity with your soul truth and purpose and mission for being here as a divine spiritual being in physical form. Two of these symbols of Scorpio really beautifully illustrate the possibility around this total lunar eclipse. The first, of course, is the scorpion who sheds its skin, literally shedding the old mask, the old protective coating in order to be reborn anew. And then the second symbol for Scorpio is the phoenix, which rises from the ashes and points to how you can rise from the ashes of the old crumbling and falling away in your life to be reborn, to fly, to embody the highest divine expression of you. So really the biggest thing to know about this lunar eclipse point is that when you allow the old to go, the new can emerge. Rebirth is not possible without some sort of death first. And so what are those old programs, old perspectives, just things that are no longer serving that are in your life, let them fall away so that greater authenticity can blossom through you. Authenticity is literally one of the key facets of the new paradigm and it's time to claim it. So ask yourself, where have you masked your authenticity in order to fit in? Where have you dimmed your light in order to conform? This is a good time to reclaim those shadow aspects of you that you've buried, to welcome them into your heart with love so that they can be transformed and so that the new you can manifest through. This brings us to the second key thing that on and around this lunar eclipse, there's an energy of purging the old, purging toxicity on an individual and a collective scale. Eclipses are known to accelerate events that need to happen for your soul growth and transformation, but that are suppressed and pushed down and buried. This eclipse energy is bringing up so much to the surface in your life and in the collective. So if you're feeling very emotional or feeling overwhelmed by some of what arises, allow, allow it to be. It may not even be yours, or it may be, but either way, when you welcome what arises with love, with compassion, with forgiveness, you're able to welcome it into your heart where it can be transformed so that it does serve you or where it can be released if it's something that's just being perpetuated but that you really just need to let go of. So eclipses have a way of accelerating or bringing forward necessary events for soul transformation and the key to navigating is to simply allow. Because when we allow, when we welcome, when we observe whatever it is that arises, keeping the heart open, those lower energies, distorted frequencies are able to just pass right through and you're able to stay in an expanded, joyful, vibrant, high vibe, happy space. It's when we contract in the face of negativity 
contract and close in the face of challenge, that the vibration drops and the old energy or pattern or paradigm gets stored into the body. So a lot of what may be coming up around the eclipse are actually things from the past where you did contract, where you did store that older, outdated, old energy. So when it arises, don't become it, don't buy into it, don't even believe it, just observe it. Remember that you have the ability to shift back into the perspective of the observer, to just allow yourself to observe you being a human being, observe what's happening if you feel tired. Don't judge it, don't make it be a big deal. Just observe, allow it to move through, allowing yourself to stay in an expanded state and to claim the awakening possibility that this full moon lunar eclipse brings. And there is so much. And that's the third thing that I wanna share with you is that this energy really is profound. It's unfolding on so many layers across dimensions, including an accelerated awakening of Gaia, Mother Earth. And so that as the energies unfold, if things feel a little intense for you, remember that Mother Earth, Gaia, nature is such an incredible ally and resource and guide in order to come back into harmony and coherence. These trees around me are in that perfect expanded state. And so being in the presence of trees, being in the presence of nature and just observing and allowing, allowing the heart to open, allowing yourself to tune into the magnificence, the divinity, the crystalline coherence and new earth energies of the earth that are already present here right now, but are blossoming into a greater expression themselves empowers you to also open, expand, and tune into a greater extent of the divine consciousness that is available to you alongside whatever's happening in your life, in the physical world, whatever challenges are there, whatever review or reflection or revision is being asked of you due to Mercury retrograde also being an influence during this full moon eclipse. This is really a point of rebirthing the authentic you, the soul you, the soul truth, and coming into greater harmony with why you're really here, your soul purpose and mission. Which if you get a little heady about what that means, and I don't know, go out into nature, breathe, tune into the splendor of a tree blossom, a flower, a leaf, a bud, a bloom, the beauty of the natural world holds so many keys and insights. And when you're just present in nature, allowing yourself to shift into an expanded state, you can receive those ahas and downloads and inspirations and insights as to your very next step. So allow what is to be, allow your energy to expand, allow it all to pass through you and create the time and space and opening to go within to reconnect with your soul, with the heart of love, to let that light rise up, which will illuminate your highest divine path through. Now I wanna draw a bonus card from the Intuitive Oracle cards. But first, if you would like a guided angel activation specifically channeled for this eclipse gateway check out angelactivation.com and now our card what else do we need to know about this eclipse now i need to let you know this deck is one that you can color and customize to make your own and this is the card that i colored um, actually painted with watercolor and it is the waves of change card so this card just brings the confirmation that a paradigm shift is possible for you. Waves of light, influxes of light codes, cosmic frequency, Shakti, divine energy are pouring in and that when you stay in your heart, stay in gratitude, in compassion, in forgiveness, this empowers you to ride the waves of change into the next levels of the highest possibilities for your life of living as an awakened divine being in physical form, receiving all those light codes, crystalline energy, and 
embracing the changes that your soul, that spirit is aligning from you. We really only get contracted and get weighed down when we resist. And so let go of resistance, embrace allowing openness, gratitude, compassion, and love, and ride the waves of change, this full moon lunar eclipse, to bring forth the highest divine possibilities for you. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. Check out angelactivation.com for more, and I'll see you in the next video.